yeah. we've been waiting, man. We've been spitting stuff out this entire time. Like, Shut we really should have just put some mics in the kitchen for what all the shit that we were talking about so far. Just been spitting bars. Fucking spitting the bars. Time. Excited. Let's quit breaking shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh Shit's God. fucking expensive, goddammit. it. That's <laughs> <Yeah>, awesome. <laughs> all right. We're the Aboriginal Outlaws. I'm Johnny B. I'm Josh Sargent. And I'm uh, Wilbur Sunday. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw my head back with this no. wire, guys. No. I'm going to throw my head no. back in. <laughs> can't do the native woman laugh. <laughs> no. You're being restrained. <laughs> I know, right? It's like this studio is like, calm the fuck down. Chantel. It's like a light bondage. <laughs> <laughs> Hold me back, bitches. <laughs> I'm Chantel White. Say it again. <laughs> do I have to? Well, you were on camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, how uneven is my face? <laughs> it's, per- it's pretty fucking uneven. <laughs> like, yeah. Everything's going everywhere. It's okay, you know. Just Optical look, just illusions. look up and down. Chantal White joining, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're the Aboriginal motherfucking outlaws. <laughs> Aboriginal. <laughs> yes, we're on the air. <laughs> you know her from. Stop doing that. You know her as Chantal the Celebrity on 97.3 CKON, one of the freest radio stations ever, where we. Play whatever we want, really. Do you listen to CK1, John? <laughs> Do you listen to CK1? No. Do you listen to the radio at all? No. 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 I got an old fucking, like, you know, the, the iPod? Yeah. Right? The brick one? Like, yeah. Like the, the one with, like, like, the single button at the, the side? The original, where your fucking cord you plug into, it's, like, that fucking long. Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah, I got one and of those. And your toggles are, like, little circle thingies? Yeah. Like the, yeah. The, that thingy? Yeah. Wow. So I got one of those hooked up still. It still has it's all like the a fucking. Dinopod. Like, <laughs> it's like 380 songs on it yeah and it just constantly just runs yeah. shit my kid found one of those and she's like what is this <laughs> yeah i'm like this it's artifact. ancient i guess that's what it is it's a fucking cassette <clears throat> this is the brick this is what we used to build houses with <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no i even i didn't even really listen to the radio much before i started working there oh yeah because everything's online now so right. you know it's kind of radio was dying down but I don't know, you throw a bunch of ADHD people in the same room and watch them go, it yeah. seems to spark interest again. Yeah, that's radio. That's Between me, you, and Buck, and like the stars have aligned for us, and all three of us work together now. Mm-hmm. And Reen's eyes roll to the back of her head, <laughs> and Gully has little palpitating heart attacks every 10 minutes because we don't stop talking. <laughs> and yeah, the rest of them are just sitting there like, what are they on? They're like, nothing. <laughs> Not a single damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> this pure life, baby. Pure life. Right. <laughs> Hi, uh, life. Sounds tiring, though. No? Oh, for people outside of that? Yeah. No, like, just like you three. Yeah, no. Just the no. mall's just constantly going. No, yeah, you, you see how I am. It's like 11 o'clock. Hey, guys, let's go do something. Hey, guys, what are yeah. you doing? I, I did I 15 see, things today. But I can see how we draw energy out of the people in the room. They're like, holy crap, there's so much going on right now. And yeah, like, yeah. You can let, but you guys know, Buck, you let him just go and it just keeps going. Like, mm-hmm. we have to cut him off at like a two minute mark whenever we talk now. He's like, hey, I got a story to tell you. <laughs> he yeah, starts yeah. on the story and yeah. goes like, is it going to be like a short story? And he's like, yeah, okay, well, in first grade. And she's like, that doesn't sound like a short story. <laughs> I even sit there like, damn, I'm getting a little tired here. <laughs> that happens to me when I, got, when I have to record an ad with him. I had to record yeah. an ad with him today. I'm like, fuck, dude, I got to go. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I got to yeah, be somewhere so else. I got to podcast. Can I like just come and hang out and watch you guys work? You can. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, I can it's just so walk amusing. in the building. And I don't know what happens. Guys. Like He gets in some scenario or something, and then I just roll up, and I start playing with it too, and like the yeah. rest of the crew just stops. They're like, what are they doing? And like me and Buck just keep going, we just go with it, you know. And everybody's like, "When are they gonna stop?" <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's quite entertaining. It's not very boring there. <laughs> no, no, it's not boring at all. <laughs> well, welcome back, Chantel. It's been about a year since you've been here. It's been since over you, a year. Since you electrocuted us. Since you electrocuted Last Will's yeah. balls. I gained yeah. like twenty pounds. It's been like a year and a half. <laughs> I swear. We tried to make a TikTok when, I, when they're fat and they slap hands. And then Whoa. when they hit hands again, they're skinny with the idea that by June, we would be fit. And So you guys, <laughs> we I wait, you shot the first fatter. part? We shot the first part. When did you shoot this? Like January. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the no second part. It's just going to be a little thicker. I, like fucking, I, I'm like thicker. A fucking, we, a fucking we just, banana We're just going to ripple. Okay? Like when we smack hands, it's just going to be like a ripple effect. And we'll be like thicker. a bushel of bananas and then, smacking a pack of hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then in the future we'll be skinnier and be like, yeah. You sure know? we will. <laughs> positive thinking, right? As we evidenced have to by have the some tray of thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when you walk in, like you were just about to say, a tray of fucking sushi. I don't think. And then you guys are going over your fucking bank statements in the kitchen, and like. I can't even like call myself out because I let that slip a little bit too. A little lot of our bank with... statements go to fucking fast food. <laughs> you named every fast food area in the region in like two seconds. You know it too. Ah, uh, it's crazy. I thought I was the only one. Right. Really, I'm not. <laughs> no. No, not the slightest. Like I'm saying, I'm like, I go hide in my car and eat food. I was going to like talk about like all the foods that I eat, you know, and make a little TikTok about it. And then I was like, I finished the food too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I have no material. <laughs> I was going to take a picture of this, but I ate it. It's <laughs> gone already. Those little, those little videos where people are like, oh my God, look what I made or look what I'm eating. Mm-hmm. I'm that chick on the side like, can you stop? No, look, I'm hungry. <laughs> the food's cold. So yeah, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not the only one. What's your favorite place recently, John? Recently? Yes. Or is it the old standbys? I don't know. Did you get yourself a Happy Meal yet? No. What about you? My favorite place. You know what? The quickest favorite place is Taco Bell for those yeah. those those um Chipotle chicken ranch, whatever oh, yeah, those burritos. Are good. Those, those are, good. are good. Get two of those and those will stop me from eating the rest of the restaurants out. But um yeah. Favorite <laughs> like <laughs> I swear okay, I'm okay, straight. Okay. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> let's just not. Okay, let's go back to brick and cheese. Okay, we'll just stick with that. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm like, wait, let's rewind that. What Eating did, out what did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> she shan the man. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. No favorite sit-in restaurant. I guess Kelsey's. I mean, you know, they got that spinach dip. That's really good. Mm. I like. Was I like Filos for a while, but people were saying they found something in the food, so I stopped eating there. It's still a freaking good. Malone yeah, yeah. place. That place, the Malone yeah, Chinese. Filos oh yeah, Malone mm-hmm. Chinese. Yeah. That like, I have to be really nice when I'm like out with friends and things like that, or be like really slow and eat my food slow and look normal. But when I'm with my kids, they're like, "Mom, trying to talk to me." I'm like, hum, 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 hum. Yeah. "Yeah, what? What do you want? Wait, <laughs> wait for my second plate, okay? And then I'll, I'll get back to you." Uh, yeah. He turned into fucking Farley from that one line. Yeah. Lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. I'll be laying on a can of corn. Can of corn, I'll be good. <laughs> my in trouble. This. I mean, food is good, man. I mean, it, it's fucking good. I actually go to, like I brought up earlier, Highlands. I had something there the other night. But then my mom always liked Guy's Restaurant. Yeah. So it was her birthday last week, and I wasn't able to make it because my son was sick. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, we'll go eat there tomorrow. So, I mean, reservations are for my mom and the siblings. The right. family. So, yeah, the family. So I'm gonna Did you buy? Tomorrow. tomorrow I will. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I bought the other night, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 I went to Firehouse Pizza uh-huh. over the weekend. Nice. Have you oh, seen yeah, it? yeah. No. In, in Norwood. Norwood. Huh? Yeah. It's pretty good. It was good. They have like a wood-fired mm-hmm. wood fired pizza. Yeah. The whole place is dressed up like a firehouse. Hmm. You know, they have like fireman shit Norwood all over the place. That is I mean, if I'm driving out to Norwood, I'm going to go to an extra distance and probably have a Five Guys or yeah. a fucking cantina. Yeah. We had those. What is the before. rave with Five Guys? Like the fucking burgers are burgers amazing. Are good. Yeah, the burgers are good. And the fries are good. The, the, yeah, fries. actually, all right. That was a really stupid You've question. I took that back. You've I took that there. back. Everybody. And then they I don't just, with right. you. Yeah, it was then, good. And my and burger then they was don't just give you a, a large. They give you like fucking three larges. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like they the fill fries too. Bag with fries, yeah. the they, Cajun fries. Like yeah, I, I took the fries home and I rebaked the fries. You know what? Yeah, you know, Five Guys is good. You know, I just I <laughs> yeah. think I was just mad. I was paying separately for everything. Yeah, I think that's the only is, thing that ticked me off. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's like six bucks for fries, and then they give me like a bucket of fries, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. oh, right. <laughs> it is a bit pricey. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try their hot dogs. I think they hot got dogs? they got uh, hot dogs with bacon. Ooh. Oh man, those are amazing. Mm-hmm. I haven't gotten to the hot I dogs yet. I have not yet, yet but. Is the bacon in the hot dogs? No, but it's, I think it might be just on the side of wrapped around. Mm. It's there used to, uh, Donovan's used to have a Malone Fair stand, right? Mm-hmm. They used to have a home record hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> and you get the Glacier Old beef. Yeah, the Glacier beef. <coughs> wrapped in bacon. Uh huh. With pulled pork on it. Yeah. Onion crisps on it. Damn. Oh, that was the best fucking damn, hot dog. Damn, damn, damn. Like, they don't gorgeous. sell it at the fucking restaurant, though. Yeah. It was just strictly a fair fucking yeah. food. That sucks. <laughs> Would go there and get, like, it was amazing. Yeah. Any fucking hot dog wrapped in bacon is 
oh, you yeah. know, the um, state fair, I finally got to go to the state fair again. I haven't gone in like 10 years, mm-hmm. but they're like, everybody's raving about the turkey legs, you know, get the turkey legs. They're freaking awesome. So I go and get the turkey leg and it's like, I felt like um, Freddie Flintstone walking around with my big mm-hmm. ass turkey leg, just like all greased oh. up. Me and my okay. son are walking, okay. eating it. Burger. Yeah, like I can eat the turkey yeah. and then use the bone as a weapon to ward off all the sickles out there. Well, like, you might need it, sir. Like a legit, like you can get a legit turkey leg. At the yeah, it's like, it's like fucking that's big. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a homewrecker as well. I've, I've fucking been there in years too. No, it's like yeah. a good weapon, you know. <laughs> you know, Fred Flintstone first, then the wife yeah. swinging. <laughs> but she don't listen. <laughs> Elba. <laughs> a lot of turkey balls being thrown around in Indian village. Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's weird. I was surprised to see Indian not day. that many people with those, but it's expensive. I mean, you like I learned that at the Indian village when you're there, like selling stuff, you know, you're there for the full week and you can't afford fair food for the yeah. entire week. It's like twelve dollars mm-hmm. a freaking turkey leg. <laughs> right. So, I see it splurge once in a while, but. I was out there having fun. I'm like giving money to my kid. Like, go run, have fun. Give money to my other kid. Go run, have fun. Then I sit at the one kiosk for all the food. The turkey legs and the onion blossoms. What are they? Blooming. Blooming onions. Blooming yeah. onions. Blooming onions. Yes. Yeah. Those guys. Okay. Those are good. Breathing heavy for the whole thing. Uh-huh. I love how the last 20 minutes was just about food. Just food. <laughs> and we've eaten. And we've eaten. Uh, we can't even say oh, we're hungry. We have eaten. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, we didn't eat the whole tray in like 10 minutes. Yeah, I thought you guys were just going to kill her. Like, what the fuck? I I I'm like, like I'm not ago. like, that's not impressive right there. No, no. You guys left like a half a tray of fucking sushi over there. I feel Coming like worse, from Little Miss, little miss I eat everything over along. here. <laughs> then this guy, he loves sushi, so. I'm, I'm very disappointed in yeah. myself now. Looking I back. ate prior, so. I didn't go in there with an empty stomach. I've had, I've had, pork shoulder bacon and three eggs. It's called second supper. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> eleven be, be a fucking man, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, three eggs? That's nothing. Eat the chicken. <laughs> How many eggs is Johnny B eating? Me? Fuck, like three scrambled, three yeah. over easy. Yeah. And then just two sunny side up. Maybe right. Like dip too. And then some deviled for dessert. Yeah, yeah, deviled. Yeah. You ever notice someone makes deviled Sometimes eggs? Sometimes they'll just rocky it up and just crack like five eggs in a cup and fucking drink <laughs> it. I don't fucking recommend it. <laughs> I do not Did recommend it. Did you shit it. your pants? No, it came, <laughs> it came back up this way. <laughs> I was, legit fucking tried that. Oh, Why? Yeah. Was it for like a health thing or was no, it for a dare? No, it was dare? Just like for the fun of it. Like, you yeah. think you so can you do just, it? I'm like, yeah, it's eggs. You're just right? in, and in your you, kitchen? It's just like the, the slimy shit, the texture. Yeah, you get probably like two eggs on. Yeah, so that's how we know you're not gay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. Mm-mm. If you're like, oh god, I like this feeling. Yeah, right? just just slime going down your throat. It's not for me. It's no? not for me. Yeah. You try warming it up first. I don't, I don't think I can take a fucking load in the back of my mouth. I don't think I can ever do that, man. Yeah. And then, like my me sucking a dick, and you hear that. I'm pretty sure you're going to go soft, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. Some people are, some people are into that. <laughs> yeah. And plus, my eyes are going to be red. I'm going to be fucking crying. Sweating. You know, like Sweating. A, you know, like a kid that gets hurt and they can't catch their breath? <laughs> what was that movie? <laughs> like that. Like the fucking the crying where you can't stop. <laughs> and yeah. At the same time. That's not really attractive. Not to anybody. So I, I really... I really I won't be a good, I won't be a very good gay man, you know. I mean, I'll be able to cuddle with a man, but like as for the other parts, I don't. You might have to just cheat on me. (laughs) Like I can only be gay. Like we can cuddle. That's it. Right. Right. We can go shopping. I'll I'll shop with you, you know. But as for the yeah, you like sneakers a lot. Yeah, yeah. We can go sneaker shopping, you know. But as for like yeah, the you'll hold his bag. Yeah, the mouth stuff or the butt stuff. I don't. You're gonna have to go. Yeah. Get you a side piece. <laughs> so if you're looking, if you're looking for a band to cuddle, go shopping with. Yeah, yeah Johnny yeah. B's your man. Right here, right here. Johnny I'm, B's the guy. I'm not, I'm not gay man. <laughs> to an extent, to an extent, that's it. On the Kinsey scale, like, like, ten percent. Like, like like seventy. I don't know. That's a little too much. We'll yeah. go. We'll go thirty-five. Thirty-five percent gay. Yeah. Part-time gay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is a scale. So if you're using it, I can use it, right? And I can check out chicks. Like, never mind. I don't need. I don't need labels for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just normal. <laughs> Part time gay. <laughs> <laughs> New stickers. It'll work. Right? It'll yeah. work. 
<laughs> you would. like oh, we need a symbol for it so like you know when you see a pineapple it means like swingers or something Does right it? something like that what? it's like the secret symbolism like we see pineapples people have pineapples on them it's another symbol like hey we're swingers or oh. some kind of whatever oh, really? like that oh. yeah so we need one for part time gay part time gay lemon Lemon, oh. banana, banana, but only half peeled. Banana, grape. banana with one skin peeled down. There you go. <laughs> uh, or just the fucking apple symbol with a bite taken off of it. We'll just pull it. We'll just take that one. Yeah, we'll just take it. <laughs> we'll just take it. But it'll be rain. Wait, it is rainbow already. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. true. Is that? Oh, we just started the conspiracy. Like half day. half rainbow. We'll keep the other half red. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm excited. Somebody's, like, ye- somebody's yelling. Somebody's sound like somebody's getting murdered. <laughs> right? What did, what did you put on? Uh, chips and apples. That is a little creepy, considering we're the only ones here. <clears throat> yeah. Did that sound like that was in here or out there? Or no, it was out there. It was one of yours. Oh, one of mine. Way. Okay. Yeah. Did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we get the death. <laughs> they don't know there's kids here, man. Do you have your death whistle? <laughs> It's in my truck. Yeah, go outside yeah. my window and blow it. God, no. Yeah. Don't call nothing like that around here. What? No, like, I'm going to do a... I'm going to fucking scare the shit out of your kids. Oh, don't. No. no. <laughs> I, got, I got my mask and the hat. It's in my I, truck. I, I, think it's, I think it's hilarious to scare people. Yeah. You know, it's fun and everything, but I was scared as a kid, and I'm a little fucked up now. <laughs> you were scared? <laughs> I need, what, I need what a little scared, bit of therapy. What's... <laughs> What scared you as a kid? Needs me a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that kind of scary. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle like to play people. Oh, Jesus. So I put all the therapies for and No, them. you know what? No. My babysitters, they would wait for like my parents to go. And my parents are like, yeah, you know, like we're going to go have a night out, whatever you have yeah. fun. And they're like, okay, I'll cheery eyed and everything. And as soon as the door closed, they're like, all right, which one are we scaring tonight? They get all the scary masks out and they set them up around the house. So they turn all the lights off and they wait for us. And like, mm-hmm. we're like creeping by like. I just gotta go pee. Hello, <laughs> is anybody here? Are we by ourselves? And then like jump out and you're like rah, and we're like ah, and I pee in my pants. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, so. I'm fairly certain that wasn't me and DJ. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm. God. Oh yeah, so he used to hang out with DJ. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I was that little kid that like you guys and Glocks. And so you used to be the, the babysitter. You used to hang out with no, the no, no. The, the babysitters were all girls. That's why oh. we were over there. Yeah, it was it was oh, all my okay. older cousins. Yeah, oh. yeah they but these guys were over like there like, like yeah. hey ladies, and the ladies were like, oh my god, BJ and Joshua are here, so we're gonna lock the kids in the house and go play with them, you know. And I was that kid locked in the house. Yeah. I'll look at you. <laughs> bored in the house, in the house, bored. Bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. <laughs> Starving in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. <laughs> Haven't eaten. <enough. laughs> no, I keep that stuff in the car because I like to mm. scare people. Yeah. yeah, it's Halloween season too. Yeah, it is. I'd say my older kids, yeah, my younger one, let let them let them get a little bit older because you know I really don't need them clinging on me for the next ten years. Right, <laughs> mom. Well, I mean, he's your chance to do it right this time too. Like True. the first ones are always just a test. You know, you always fuck up the first <laughs> ones, but. You know, the second ones, you get another round. Like when you have that much of a gap between them, there's yeah, always a, right. a round to do it right, you know? So we live and mm. we learn. So, like, the second round of kids learns something. <laughs> to do this is practice, practice. We'll <laughs> get this one right. <laughs> Maybe this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about sneaking out. That's, that's, what, that's what we used to do. We used to, we used to sneak out. We used to sneak out of your Uncle Donnie's house. Oh, yeah. On a motorcycle right around Frogtown. You guys got out on a motorcycle? Yeah, yeah, he had this like How little... How fucking heavy did he sleep? Fuck, dude. <laughs> I mean, he was... Right? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Oh, like, start up a fucking goddamn fighter jet outside, man. <laughs> right. oh, that fuck. rumbles the garage. Yeah. How did you get it to stick fucking, right at the house? Fucking Donnie had fucking, <laughs> fucking apnea up the ass. <laughs> How did we get it out the house? Well, we would roll it. Oh, it's yeah, got wheels. Sense. <laughs> Started hope, right up in the garage. I hope my father never listens to this, but we were in Gunnar Joe Lake and sneaking one of his vehicles away at his van. We put it in neutral, you know, and we like just pushed it down the hill. And you know how, like, the part of the the part where the barn is and all the parking lots are and yeah. everything it goes down like that right so we're trying to like push it down that part of the road and then it like took off on us and like there's a turn at the bottom of the <laughs> yeah there is <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> i think it was uh it wasn't oh, just running she's running after the van and she goes and tears the door open as it's rolling jumps in and she turns it and turns it into the grass it's like a little grass hill yeah. so it, like hits the grass hill and we're like <gasps> And then, like, all six of us are, like, trying to just put it back and get it around and push it off the road and got it out. <laughs> yeah, these guys grew up in Gunnar Johalegu. You ever go down there? 
It's, no, it's kind of it's down near Fonda, like New York. Mohawk Valley, or it, 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 they, they tried to, yeah, place. they tried to make like a commune sorta. Oh yeah. So they always had like fucking vehicles all over the place with just the keys in there. And was it, mm-hmm. like a, it was pretty much yeah, like a commune. It was kind of like whatever. a commune. It's like a big ass barrel of just gas for all the vehicles. Yeah. You could pull up with your four wheeler or your uh. your tractor and just fill it in whatever you know. And yeah, it's like freaking thirty. It was like thirty bedrooms in that place. There was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, it had been like an old folks' home like uh, years ago. So it was like these creepy. big houses. It was, it was kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. Four kitchens. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's a huge place. It's really cool. It Where is it? Ganacha Halega. It's down in. Um, it's near Fonda. Yeah, it's like four hours downstate. Fonda is, okay, you go down Tupper Lake Ways yeah. and you keep going. Okay. Yeah, you just stay in that <laughs> road. <laughs> yes. I like how you fucking give directions, all right? You just keep on going down that road. <laughs> We're going to get there. Yeah. We're gonna get there. <laughs> Look yeah. for stuff. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's 2022. You're gonna see a sign somewhere. Yeah. Look for the Indians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> it'll just be like uh, it'll be like all white the people. The creator will get us there. Like yeah. one of those people. Huh? My ancestors will yeah, tell me when to turn. We're going. It's we're dull. Just, yeah. We're just rolling. We're just going with the wind. We return to the homelands. <laughs> <laughs> you cross the hill and you uh, fucking hear harps playing. Woo. Not harps, Indian harps. flutes. Indian flute. you, hear, you hear the <laughs> drums. Just drums. Yeah. Jumanji style? <laughs> we get closer and it gets faster. <laughs> A load flute side <laughs> comes out of the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this, this wire is really restricting me. I'm like. <laughs> I mean, it's just so you can hear your own voice. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Keep, yeah. I have a nice voice. <laughs> I mean, that's why we hired you at a radio station. That's right. That's right. They're like, hey, her voice is nice. She won't shut up. Let's pay her. Okay? Those are prerequisites. She's somebody that just likes to talk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All my old jobs are like, uh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty good. Oh, yeah. So for sneaking out, yeah, we were talking about uh, how we used to sneak out of our houses and shit and get away. And I was like, imagine sneaking out of a second story. And then your friends thought it was funny, and so they kicked the ladder every fucking mm-hmm. time. Kicked the ladder and watched me hanging. I'm like, who's gonna catch me? And they all disappear. Well, yeah, but like every time though. So you know, just like, you know, just around, like maybe I need new friends. Uh, no, fucking, fucking, actually, you know they matured and they're nice fucking, people now. Fucking but... <laughs> you know, After probably the first ladder kick, I'm like, you know, I ain't fucking drink with you guys no more. <laughs> Fuck y'all. By the by, the second time I had learned yeah. to put hooks on the top of the yeah. ladder. There you go. So I hook it into the window. They try to kick it like, ha <laughs> bitches. So they kick the bottom out. Yeah. I don't know why it took me so long. <laughs> so you get the BB gun out and just start fucking letting them have it. <laughs> oh, and like how rough we were. Because, yeah, that was some of the dickhead stuff we did as kids. Like, we used to hang over, like, the door frames in houses and wait for our friends to walk through. And then, like, as they walk through, you swing down and punch them in the face. <laughs> wow. Like, hang from the door frame. Like, yeah. like some, some houses style. have, like, the thick yeah. door frames. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of, like, cling on those and hang onto the wall and everything. And oh, then when okay. they come down, you swing down and you punch them. <laughs> 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 you know, behind the door stuff. I guess we were really aggressive kids. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we don't all have the same stories. We were feral. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking wild Indians, huh? <laughs> like, kind of walk in the room like, hey guys, and then start wrestling and just start well, I don't know. fighting. I, I have a cousin. His his dad used to call me the hitman. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I used to just show up and beat the fuck out of all my cousins. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. just the kid who would start throwing down. Yeah, right? I was always like a big kid too, so oh, yeah. I just like show up and just drag my cousins around. He would always, would always come and hit me. He's like fucking DJ to us. Yeah. We'd be like playing in the yard and stuff, and DJ comes over and Evan's like, yeah, he's going to wrestle me. And Crane like, oh my God, we're just ragdolls. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm just practicing my moves on us. <laughs> So, so this is kind of normal right guys yeah. <laughs> kids are better now kids are nicer now i think they are i tell my kids they, these stories and they're like oh, they you might guys be. are so mean yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. my kids are way better my god me and my sister used to throw each other around that's a lie i used to throw her around <laughs> she was always tiny oh really <laughs> we talk about it now and i'm like you guys don't hit each other at all huh and my daughter goes to hit my son and then they both cry <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We're good, you know. New generation. <laughs> what about your kids? Are they sweet or do they fight? Uh the boys fight, yeah. yeah. They're around the same age. Yeah. yeah. Eight and ten. So that little guy in there, he started learning punches, so he just runs up yeah. to his siblings now and he just full on like he just like I used to just freaking knock him out. Mm-hmm. Climbs up on Gullahawi and starts hitting him in the head. Is that a knock on this door? 
Hello. It's a child. It's yeah. a child. I suppose you can take care of it. Yeah, one what of is them, it? I heard him say, Mama. <laughs> that meme, what's worse than a rapist? And he pulls the paper back and the guy's like, oh, it's a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's worse. <laughs> uh, I was just about to say something. <laughs> uh, so how was your week, Sergeant? Well, I can't talk about most of it. That's good, then. That's good. I don't want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear any of it. Then. Yeah. No. I, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good ones. Uh, students. So we. So we. So we've been uh, trying to navigate students like in a fight with each other. It's all girls, but it's the future. So everyone's got a phone. So they're all fucking having. They're planning their little sc- scraps all on Snapchat. Really? Yeah. They film it. So people just. Uh, it's you say it's mostly girls. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, like a fucking fight club, like a female fight club. It's not even like that. It's just like one wants to scrap with the other, and then they all, all their friends are like, "Yeah, go get them." And, just film it. and they just, yeah, they're who filming. Best, who has the best Snapchat? Video I, I guess fight? so. But what's funny is you, you have video evidence of how good a fighter and it's clear to everyone who wins the fight. Well, yeah. both of them are adamant they won the fight, even yeah. though very clearly only one of them, yeah. the same kid, hmm. did, huh. as they do sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> did you fight a lot when you were younger? Not that much. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Here. I mean, I got a couple of fist fights in a row. I got jumped. I got jumped in eighth grade by a guy that was like an athlete way bigger than me. Yeah. How'd yeah. that go? Did you dress beat? I don't know. Uh, I got popped. <laughs> okay. Everything went dark. Yeah, kinda. According <laughs> yeah. according to my yeah. friends, I started wailing away on this midsection, yeah. but I kind of don't remember that part. I kind of snapped mm-hmm. too when I was getting dragged down the hallway and I was swearing at the teacher. Yeah. Hmm. I think I was trying to swing at the teacher. Nice. <clears throat> Nice. I think it just went complete Wolverine rage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I got too many fights either. Yeah. It wasn't until like... Until I started drinking like yeah. teen, the older teenagers yeah. days when you're going out and shit. Right. Then you go to like a house party and then there's somebody there, I don't know, for some reason does not like you. Right. Shit like They that. always do, right? There's yeah, there's always some, some one person. Dude, yeah. Some dude is... Yeah, there's always some person like that. We're oh. out in Canada. Yeah. We got a fight out in Canada before. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What was that like? Oh, man, it was fun. It was four of us, and uh, I don't know. It was uh, it was in Valleyfield. We were leaving this yeah. club, and then uh, probably because we we got special treatment because yeah. we're all natives and right. we had money. Oh yeah. So we we got to like drink with the owner all night and shit. Everything yeah. was basically free, and then some white guys didn't like that. Right. What? They they jumped us while we were leaving, uh-huh. and I had two very small friends with us, like skinny. Yeah. Like they went down. I seen them both go down and just lay there. Like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to fight back. That's why it is all skinny and small they were. Yeah. But then I got hit with a fucking beer bottle right here. Ouch. Like in the middle of December. Yeah. When it's like probably like 10 Cold. below. So yeah, yeah it, it hurts. Yeah. And then these went flying. Oh, yeah. So I just grabbed the guy and started hitting him. I look over my other big buddy. He's on top of somebody. Nice. And then uh, the two other white guys were like fucking with our friends over there. So I went and helped one of them out. Yeah. And then uh, after that, I guess the bouncers came rushing. Oh, yeah. Every bouncer that was in the club, big fucking guys. And they're like, you guys are going to get out of here. You Indians are going to go. They get just out here for the natives? Before the, no, before the cops get here. And then they start beating the fuck out of these <laughs> white guys. Nice. Yeah. Nice. As we were leaving, right. we we're driving by and there's a bouncer. He's got a white guy. He's like <laughs> sitting up against the car and he's just like taking a fucking boot to home. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys get out of here before the cops show up. Yeah. Nice. All right, man, we're gone. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. <laughs> well, that's cool. Shit. Were they allies, or did you just had a lot of money and you would go there occasionally? They really liked us there. Yeah, yeah they really liked us there. <laughs> that's cool. And then when you like drinking champagne with like the owners and shit, yeah, back all night, right? Yeah, just a couple of white people don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Apparently, a long time ago, Indians just all had money. Right. So. Once upon a time, there was a thing. Yeah, yeah. Young Thundercats. Yeah, it's coming again, right? I think so. Right. It's coming back around, right? Yeah. It's Everybody been... and their mother has a dispensary. I think, oh. we're, I think we're the only ones oh, in the res yeah. without a dispensary. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. We get all Outlaws up, up. dispensary. Right. Outlaws. One of us has land by State Road. I'm yeah. good with like paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> I'm... I'll secure the premises. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to do everything. Mm. Yes. Yes. We could do that. Let's go. I'll be at the front door like, hi, <laughs> would you like to buy our product? Yeah. What's the name of the dis- dispensary? Dispensary? Yeah. Dispensary? I don't know. Outlaws? Dispensary? Outlaws? No. Outlaws. We'll just put our sticker on the front. Yeah. How about the funny farm? <laughs> the funny farm? <laughs> the funny farm? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. No idea. Just did all. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> Be some money for sure, but right. <laughs> Apparently, everybody's making it. They throw up a shed and they freaking yeah. build a giant ass like structure. The yeah. next year, so everybody's yeah. making something. They're making something. Yeah. I'm noticing. 
if mm-hmm. people complain like, yeah, they're all gonna die down soon. I'm like, I don't know. They're all just getting bigger. So. I don't think I don't think they're gonna die down until New York State has like dispensaries everywhere. Yeah, I think yeah, until then. that happens, it's like yeah, it's the until there's like, yeah until there's 75 more dispensaries in Malone. Yeah, area, we, we should jump on the trend now then, right? Because right? you know. Messina's starting to get big too. There's what two or three in Messina now. But they're all that's like that was they're, land claim land. They're all yeah. fucking native owned anyways. Yeah, yeah, either, yeah. Either, that's what I'm saying though. Either yeah. way, like it's spreading out. You know, like it's right. starting to get starting to. You know, go around, think, whatever. Well, Malone. You got Malone. any land in Malone? I don't. I'm tapped. I don't, but I, I yeah. see it for sale all over the place. Yeah? Yeah. We'll get it right by the airport right there in front of Walmart. There you go. Yeah. That'd be smart. Yeah. Call it fly High Flyers. High Flyers. <laughs> put it next to like, put it like right in near um, McDonald's and Taco Bell. Right so in the they middle. have, yeah. yep. <laughs> they have the rest automatic are. munchies. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, let's go get our weed. Let's go get our drinks. Let's go get our mm-hmm. food, you know, and then hit Walmart up for whatever deals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fuck cool. would we name it though? McNuggets. The Nugs. Drawing a blank. I wonder if every other community is like this. Like, where else are they doing this? I, and I know they're doing like, it, like the weed or the podcast. The, the or, weed. The weed. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, the podcast too. Podcast and do, yeah. Well, yeah. There's, a, there's a few groups here now, and like the weed has gone nuts. I mean, yeah. well, well, I was in Oka, I'm driving around Oka, and I was seeing all the stores out there. Some of them are like real fancy, like mm-hmm. big giant structure buildings, and other ones are like little cigarette yeah. shops, right. you know, that are turned weed shops. It's the what same. About, what about the same I don't know. I don't think they're letting it in Kanawaga yet. No? Because, really? uh, yeah, like they have a ton of cigarette stores. I know, they just I know, throw weed product into their cigarette fucking, stores. I know, Onondagas, they don't want that. No. Yeah, no. no they only, they only like math. Like, yeah, they don't like anything on, on the Naga, from yeah. what I hear. Yeah. It's, it's How dare you people try to get a leg up? Right? <laughs> like, God, why do you stay there then, man? Like, they don't. No, like, I got a friend that's living down there. Yeah. He was up here. Yeah. Every now and then, he'll send me money. He's like, can you send me a care package? I'm like, what do you want? He's like, I don't know. So I'll go to the dispensary and just buy small shit, mm-hmm. flour, edibles. Here you go, man. <laughs> it's like, what? You got nothing on there? I mean, last time I was on it, they just had that one smoke shop. Yeah, they just had the that's one. That's it. That's, that's all they have. The drive-thru one, right? That's it? Yeah. That's all they have. If that's really still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, years ago, the traditional council shut down all of them. Yep. Oh, burned yeah. people out. And then yep. that's what all those signs are about child molesters and all that shit. I went down like 15 years ago and that one smoke shop was the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still. Still. Oh. I think they're showing you how well socialism works. I guess, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Where would you rather them? live? <laughs> I mean, it'd be like a good idea because yeah. Syracuse is right there. You would they would so. make so much you, money if they got yeah. into that. Like, you yeah. imagine? Like, yeah, the community, trust fund even babies? if it's. Yeah. <sighs> right. Yeah, but it's on a yeah, <laughs> the natives would be like the richest looking mm. people out there, and then yeah. Syracuse would be like, "Hey, let's go to Onondaga." Right. Mm-hmm. Have yep. That kind of traffic yep. on the rest, right? and there'd be a Cadillac dealership right next door. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> 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 Fucking year later, a year to the date, Cadillac. Yeah. yeah. What's the new one? Lexus, the new high up. Is that oh, it? Everybody's, no. everybody's Audi? driving no. Lexus. Audi. Audi. I see a lot of Audis. Yeah. 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 Like, what's new hot rod vehicles now? I drive a truck with holes in it. I don't fucking know. Yeah. yeah. I'm f- I got a Ram. Yeah. I want to buy a new car, and I was thinking, like, uh, Toyota Tacoma. But then I'm thinking, I have a truck, even though it's got holes in it. Maybe I should just get, like, a little car and not spend a fortune on gas. You guys saw what I spent on gas last three That's weeks. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, like, go. <laughs> that was just three weeks? That was, that was three was, weeks. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, that's like 150, 200 a week in gas. And you should I'm really just, get a little car. Yeah. yeah. I'm just driving. I don't know about your driveway, though. <laughs> I don't think your a little car is gonna make oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys seen it. If you're either. watching the security cameras, but I'm driving it like, you know, like Ace Ventura all the way down. I got a truck and I'm going. I'm just crawling up your driveway, and I got a fucking truck. Yeah, the trick is to not drive too fast. I thought it was late, so I was racing, and my kids are bouncing around. Like, is that a security camera? And I'm like, I don't know. He'll see us coming. No, it's a predator. It's just your first concussion. You'll be all right. Yeah, I go to the Adirondacks a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, in the mountains a lot. Yeah. So I drive a lot. True. Like, then I go to a like SUV type, like a Jeep. Imagine a little car ripping up and down those mountain know. roads. Oh, yeah. That would be. I don't you know. You look like a Jeep guy, though. I think Take I the top off, the doors. I'd you like look, a Jeep. You like a little, Wrangler? Yeah. Would you do a Wrangler? I would do a With Wrangler. With your short shorts on and yeah, no shirt. Absolutely. And you get into the yeah. Wrangler group. Like, you I know, would. the Wranglers, they're like, they like do this thing or something. Yeah. They pass by, they do something. They wave to each other. Yeah, like they, 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 do, they do something, you know. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Jumping with the fourth post. <laughs> what was that? What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? 
<laughs> what are those deep guys doing out in the woods there? <laughs> they pass by each other like, Arr! <laughs> It's a, it's a whole community or something like that. I don't know. My sister had a jeep for a minute. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I dated a woman with a jeep too, and they got their own little. They have like this way oh, really? or something, right? Yeah, and then she all, goes. Everybody in a jeep. Yeah. She goes and she puts this like big ass stupid sticker on the top of her truck, and it says like play or look pretty, play dirty or something like that. I don't mm. know, but they stopped waving at her. Oh really? <laughs> Didn't acknowledge her after that. She's like, uh, there was like eight other jeep drivers on this res, and none of them wave at me anymore. Mm. They're like you poser. Yeah, yeah. but you look like a jeep guy. Like your next vehicle should be a. Regular. I would buy a jeep, but again, I don't want to. Then uh, have like a surfboard thing tied to the top of it, and just like just like always have a pair of swim shorts swinging yeah. off of one of the sides yeah. of it or something. Yeah. I have swim shorts yeah. in my truck now, still. Mm-hmm. You would. And, and I wakeboard. <laughs> you, you saw, and I had like inner tubes and mm-hmm. fucking <laughs> goggles and shit, and boots. And... Then you need to get the book bag for the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The dog can either carry a book bag or you carry the dog in a book bag, whichever you prefer. The dog is annoying to bring everywhere. Whatever. So don't bring the dog everywhere then. Yeah. Why don't you be like a fucking native dog owner and then just tie the dog up outside and just I mean, forget that, about it? That's what I do. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I don't know why you're trying to be better than everybody else, <laughs> man. Just leave the dog outside. <laughs> Drop one of those stereotypes and maybe you know, untie our dogs now and then. Just, just bring just it inside. Let it sleep on a. Let us sleep on a warm pillow for a minute, okay? <laughs> People look at you like, it's got the summertime. It's going to stay warm in the summertime, okay? That's where it can be warm. The wintertime, it can stay cold. The summertime, it can stay hot. Is that what you do with your dog? I don't know. We've got her in like the springtime, so oh, yeah. come wintertime, I don't know. It's probably going to be an indoor dog. I don't know what the fuck to do in the wintertime. I got a cage. I can't. It's, I... It's, it's, we put, it's a little too expensive to just not let the dog live or right. just leave her outside. We put a lot of money into that dog already. Yeah. <laughs> just buying the fucking thing. Right. Yeah. So purebred dogs, they ain't no fucking joke. Yeah, you see, I got mine. I got mine at the shelter, right. and yeah. and I got a deal. If I went and took a picture with the Agway, they pay, they paid his fee. <laughs> really? Wait, that's a loophole. Yeah, you can do that. I got a welfare dog. <laughs> I would love a free welfare Agway dog. <laughs> the, the pose. Fuck, yeah. Hi. Yeah, this we, is my pooch. Oh yeah, we were awesome. They gave us free shit for the dog. Well, where's that picture? Can we see it? Was it a program? It's, it's on. Yeah, it's on the Pod Sam Humane Society. Is, is, is there something we have to sign up for? I don't know. They just offered it when Did I was you, there. You just walked in and they're like, "Take a picture over here." I was like, "I'm gonna take that dog," and they're like, "Hey, we have this program. All you gotta do is drive down to the Agway, take a picture." And I'm like, "And I get it for free? I could save hundred and twenty-five dollars, whatever it is." Yeah. yeah. It's one hundred twenty-five dollars to grab a dog. It is, but they've got all their shots and they've been checked out by a oh. doctor. And, and shit. they're spayed and neutered, yeah. so you, you can't like you yeah. Know, you'd you'd pay that much for all that shit anyway. Like I would do, like you know, shelter dogs. I've tried a couple times. I've done a couple, like you know, got a couple shelter dogs, and it's great because they're all fixed and everything. You know, they come from whatever neglected mm. homes or handed over whatever, <clears throat> so they get good homes with me and everything. But at the same time, people drop animals off at my door. So <laughs> I'll just get a litter of puppies one day and I get random ducks and chickens and someone's like, you want a horse? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. Mm, uh-huh. Yeah, I'll put it in the shed. <laughs> Fucking horse. It's just, just a nightmare in the shed. It's just all dead animals. <laughs> the they just came to hang out and they <laughs> never left. <laughs> Those people that can't say no to animals. Yeah. Big time, it's hard. You know, I had kids and it got a little easier. I'm like... I gotta feed this thing, so I can't keep that thing. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure she'd be a vet. When she was a kid, it was like yeah. it was like Doctor Doolittle, like fucking twenty animals on her fucking head. Really? Time. Yeah. Defied the odds. People are like your cat and your dog are gonna fight, and your cat's gonna eat your bird, and your snake's gonna choke you. Blah blah blah. So I had them all on me. I'm like a dog right here, a cat here, my bird, my snake on my neck, and just chilling. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> What's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. So if I want to get rid of like any animals and shit, I just drop them off at your place. No. Yep, just right at the end of the driveway. Just right at the end of the driveway. Go. Oh, One way or another. Out here. Or no, I'll be a nice guy. I'll bring it right up to your door. Yeah. Or I'll knock. I'll put it in like a nice little Remember basket. Remember that podcast? Remember yeah. that? Here's my, here's my dog. Yeah, nice little <laughs> basket. Here you go. Put a bow on it. <laughs> Compliments of the whole house. It's fucking pretty. Take it. <laughs> That's how cats end up on this road. People just drop them off at the yeah. end and. Wish then, for the best. Uh, no, yeah. I, I, if, I get, if I'm getting rid of a cat, I'm going to like Bombay or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Go out to the state forest. That's the way to do it. Be it free. Is. So, You're yeah, free. So, You're wild yeah. now. True. PETA, don't go after us, Kay. It's just hypothetical. Oh, they really dropped them here. And if you don't want them shot, don't drop them here because I will fucking shoot those cats. No, you won't. It did. You know, I have to. Hey. Uh, 
I love cats and cats you're are awesome. You're a cat guy now. Stop. Yeah, you, 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 you are. You, cats, you seem to be like you really just sent, You just sent me a picture said, so don't step on <laughs> these cute little kittens when you get here. Those are cute yeah. little kittens. Yeah, they're different. You, you I, I didn't kittens, see that so. message till after we got in here and started <clears throat> chatting and I checked my phone. I'm like, yeah, oh shit. So I'm like looking at my shoes. Yeah. Yeah. John's like, ha ha, we're going to shoot them. I sent him a picture and he's like, oh. Can we set one on fire? Then he sends me a picture. I'm like, oh, okay, we won't set them on fire. Those are cute. <laughs> it's not like I don't set cats on fire or anything. I'm just Bad saying. Like, I'm just waiting. Like, watch fun, a year from man. now, we'll be sitting here again, and you guys will be like, yeah, my dog did this and that, you know, and oh, I love them. <laughs> watch, just give us some yeah. time. You guys have only had your dogs for what, six months? About that. Six well, months? Not even July. Not even, yeah, okay, so give it a little time. Yeah. You know, like the people in the house that are like, I don't want an animal are the ones that are most attached. Right. No, like, like a dog makes it's got a lot of fucking energy. Yeah. If I'm going to get a dog, I want a dog that's just like me. You right. should have got a pit bull. That's why everybody has pit bulls. They're great for like outdoors. They're awesome. No, I don't. Family. I just like, like a big fucking lazy fucking dog that just. That's what? That just lays that's, there. That's what yeah. pit bulls are. Pit bull? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well Buck had a, his dog is a. Uh, Half bull mastiff and half something like, like that, yeah. or and, and, and half Rottweiler, and it's just this giant dog that was sitting at his feet. They like got up and looked at me. Oh, Letty, you seen Letty? Yeah. yeah. Oh, had, she's so he had adorable. Him at the radio station. Yeah, yeah, and she's like, she's calm, she's chill, she's yeah, got like the same level like that, of energy. Yeah, like the Dalmatian is fucking all yeah. over the place. Yeah, the beagle really is too. Wary. Way, way too much fucking energy. Like Dalmatians are good for like that guy on old school. Was it old school? Or no, accepted. Where like you know they're trying to like have their little yoga session, and the guy comes in and he's like, <laughs> he gets doing you know he shakes, and they're like, Shh. and he's like, okay, sits down. Yeah. Oh my god, that yeah. was great. Okay, I'll see you later. You know. <laughs> yes, yes. That's, that's exactly Dalmatian how Dalmatian is. is it? Yeah. So why are they fire dogs? Because that's that's like a thing, right? That's fire okay, departments no, have. They could just Dalmatians. look cool on a sticker. I don't or know. My daughter like just their first cartoon was 101 Dalmatians. She loved it, and somebody oh. was just had fucking Dalmatian puppies. There you go, right? So oh, was girl, that Sierra's batch? So the girlfriend was like, "Oh, let's get a puppy." No. <laughs> well, then here we are. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Overruled. No, I got him down racket. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it how you guys are like. Teddy bears. You guys mm. give in to all the animals. No, we, we give it to our kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the kids. Yeah, uh-huh. we, we give it to our kids. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. So I don't have to go like to you guys directly. I'll go to your kids and be like, "Hey, look at this cat." Oh, this, this is what I'm totally gonna bird. do. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say, "Hey, Philip, look at this, look at this little cute kitten." I mean, I I can't deny it. I'll be like, "Oh my god, give it to me, go away, child." <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. Just put them in your car when we leave here. We'll just throw them in your car. Oh, my God. Yeah, my kids know how to tell me no now, too. Driving down. I'm driving through the Adirondacks. We're going to High Falls Gorge. And there was, like, a litter of puppies in a yard. And, like, me and Brian see it. And we're just driving by. And then, like, he sees it. He whips his head around. And I'm like, oh, shit, I whip my head around, too. I'm like, oh, my God. And my daughter's in the back. She's like, no, Mom. No. We're not turning around. (laughs) Fine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. God. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, there are some like, like I've actually, because I wasn't going to get this Dalmatian, yeah. so I actually started looking up like kennels and shit, like dogs. Like I've seen a little corgi. <coughs> I've never seen one of those. Yes. Uh-huh. Fucking thing's cute as hell. <laughs> I want one now. <laughs> Fuck these big dogs. I want one of those. Yeah. Fucking thing's Just cute as hell. Yeah, yeah. Wear it a purse. It's either that or a big fucking like lazy fucking mastiff. Yeah. That just Harry Potter just dog. Just me. Yeah. Just laser. Here. Giant yeah. Harry Potter dog. That's I was gonna get a mastiff. I was looking at he was a mastiff mix. But that dog was flipping the fuck out. So mm. like uh, mm-hmm. this beagle yeah. seems like I want know. just like some that uh, Yeah. Not much energy. Right. Like, I don't know if I wake up, like, I don't know if this dog's dead or not, but he hasn't moved in, like, fucking 13 hours. Just step over him, you'll be all right. Man. Yeah, like a dog like that. Yeah. Ooh. I'm with you. That's the kind of dog. That's, that's, that's what I should have got. Yeah. But the beagle is cute, and he's available. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get here, and he's, like, setting up the setting up the movie for the kids earlier, and the freaking beagle goes up and, like, puts his head on Josh's neck, and Josh is like, yeah, he's just really annoying. I want so much attention. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, hug it already. <laughs> she gives him fucking love it, wants you to hug it. <laughs> you have to make them. You have to, if you can just give into it. You fucking evil <laughs> bastard. You just hold it like crack. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Here's a piece of food. <laughs> Bag. Uh, Bag. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop that dog up. He's gonna move in the cage, right? <laughs> Little baby. No, I feel bad for it because I'm, I'm in and out so often. Yeah. That, that, 
you know, the big dogs, you can leave them in your house. Mm-hmm. To, you know, yeah. they, maybe they'll shit on the floor in an accident or something, but it's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. If I leave that dog in my house, it will destroy my house. And I got a crate for it. Fuck. It flips out. It like, it like tore apart the bottom part of the crate, like the plastic part. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like damn. chewed it up and shit. So I was like, nice. I don't know what I'm going to do when it's really cold out. Hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah. Car buddy. Yeah. You know, it's cold out. They're not going to die of heat stroke or anything in the car. So. <laughs> Sleep in the car <laughs> yeah. at work. Leave, a, yeah. leave the window cracked open for a minute. Like, all right, children, let's go for a field trip. Look at my dog. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get back in the building now. <laughs> oh, good. He's still alive. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is like a PETA story. So, <laughs> Charlie, I have my little Dalmatian makes pit bull. He's like, he's the lazy you want with the Dalmatian yeah. colors. But yeah, um, he jumps in the car randomly as if the door's left left open, he'll jump in and he just hides, whatever. I don't even notice. I go to work at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm leaving at like 1 in the afternoon to go to lunch and it's like a hot ass fucking day. I go look in the back seat and there's fucking Charlie. He's laying on the floor. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing in here? Holy shit. I told my boss, I have to go home. My dog's in the car. Like, you left your fucking dog in the car. I'm like, I didn't know he was in the car. I left the door open for like a minute before I jumped in to leave and he fucking hit on me. <laughs> fucking stinks in here. <laughs> Some dead in here. Did you pee on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That, that was, it is very fucked up, but it's not something I intentionally did. I did not look in my back seats before going to work. You know, uh, like, like how far is it? Oh, the drive to work for you. Um, how do you not notice a dog in your car though? Well, it's what is it? It was from when I was living on the island and going to the BMO, so it's just like up the road really. We had the back road there. Oh, okay. Just go back up there, you know, and drive whatever. But yeah, so that wasn't anything. Oh, okay. I just get in the car, whatever, and I leave. And a lot of times he tries to shut up so he doesn't get kicked out, you know, and <laughs> so, fucking hiding. Yeah, so he did that. <laughs> but it's like a, a hot ass day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not about to leave my windows open in a public area like this. So I kept them closed. <clears> and that <throat> poor freaking thing, man. He should have died five times now or something. <laughs> God, he's tough. <laughs> Imagine if you had to work overtime that day, right? Oh, he would be dead. <laughs> Looking at my boss like, I don't know if I'm stressed out more or she's stressed out more. Or he's dead more. I don't know. <laughs> it's like when the kid hides in the dryer. Oh, uh, God. Jesus Christ. It's been a thing. Yeah, like you put... I never did. I bought kids like... I've read stories, yeah. yeah. Kids too stupid. They'll hide in a washing machine or dryer or fridge. There used to be a big one in the back of the day. Fridges because they used to lock. Mm-hmm. Really? Just a latch. Old old fridges have a latch on them. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So the kid would get locked in the fridge and just freeze. Uh, Frostbite. Can't breathe. Oh, it's, it's that tight. Yeah, the old mm-hmm. ones. It's yeah. I remember like the draw latch latch the thingy. It's the, like click latch like one. Like old yeah. fucking Cadillac handle. You yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I was I was supposed to like chuckle or laugh or something at that point, but I'm thinking like, holy shit, we had one our entire young childhood. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking like, did any of us try to get locked in there? <laughs> was there any other kids that I don't remember? I, where did Timmy go? <laughs> <laughs> the fridge disappeared the next weekend. I don't know. <laughs> old family photos. There was six of us. <laughs> Hmm. I don't, I don't remember this kid. <laughs> <laughs> the ones accounted for. <laughs> they told us it was aliens. <laughs> Abduction. <laughs> uh. That's fucked up, guys. <laughs> That's what we do, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like walking in here, like, what are the subjects gonna be today? Yeah. You never We're know. Fucking locking kids in fucking fridges. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> we have to state we're not talking about doing that now. It doesn't happen anymore. Thank it you, doesn't. safety laws. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now there's just so like yeah, when we were younger, like we should play like hide and seek and like all of like fucking drum street. Yeah. Like, down that snow snow area. Yeah. Get out of neighborhood kids together and just play hide and seek at night. Mm-hmm. God, that sounds like, fun. Kids just hiding in fucking old appliances. Yeah. <laughs> old fucking stoves. All right, we used to that. We have a barn. <laughs> Deep freezer in the ditch over there. I'm gonna climb it. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's a perfect hiding so spot. It's been there for fucking eighty six years. It's fucking rusted as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now kids don't even want to go outside. No, they don't. <laughs> it's hard to get to play sometimes. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. My house is pretty good, like, because I have so much area around my yeah. house. The, the kids get out and, like, the kids show up in my house. People drop their kids off. I don't mind it. I like it, that my kids have other kids to play mm-hmm. with, but they're outside all day. And a lot of times they come up to me, they're like, Chantel, can can we go play outside? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Are you sure? It's dark out. I'm like, yeah, get outside. Go. I don't care. <laughs> She's like, okay, is it almost bedtime? I don't 
care. Get outside. Go play. There's like, there's swings. There's animals. Go find a freaking cow or something. Right. Have fun. Go catch a fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I have to force mine outside. Yeah. Yeah. The Denise and the Sun they'll, they'll they'll be playing in here. They want to play Minecraft or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, go outside. And I don't know. There's like 70 acres of land, and they'll play like near the road. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they'll go up to the road and play. Yeah. Or by the fucking river. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like they don't quite know how to play outside. Did we not teach them how to play I don't outside? Know. Do we teach people that? Do, were we taught? I wasn't taught. I think we're just. Mm-hmm. There well, wasn't much to do inside last when that's, I was smaller. Yeah. So you did all your fucking shit outside. Right, you had toys and that's about it. Yeah, internet was like, ching, yeah, ching, didn't have, ching, didn't have fuck out of it. Like I don't want to stay in this house. They're gonna make me clean something. <laughs> <laughs> going outside, I'm going up the road. You ain't gonna see me till later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm being there fucking just sweeping, mopping, doing dishes. Fuck, I'm going sure outside. <laughs> But then where mm-hmm. I grew up in like like the dump road area, I had all my cousins and everybody. Right. I pretty much yeah. grew up down there, so I know everybody. So yeah. we're all outside playing kickball or right. something. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it makes a difference too when you got a bunch of kids around. Mm-hmm. You know, when a, there's a bunch of other kids to play with. Right. So yeah. That's... Yeah, here I, I think uh, I think we just I think the older generation, our parents, basically abandoned us during the day. Because I remember being gone, I would take off early in the day, even when I was little, and I was like five, six years old, and I'd be gone in the woods all fucking day. Like right, till it yeah. got dark. Till it got dark, mm-hmm. and now like it's my my son sometimes is afraid to walk around the house in the dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a big thing too. Just like go yeah. play outside, have fun, you know, and come back before the street lights turn on. That was a literal thing because we had like one big light on each of our roads, right? <laughs> so that was our street light. Come back before that. What then. street light? <laughs> <laughs> that was down side. It was He's like deep yeah. snide. Yeah. I lived yeah. everywhere. I lived freaking Cornwall. I lived in Messina. Mm-hmm. I lived in Thirty Seven Island racket everywhere oh it's nice ain't that's yeah everywhere's different but it's nice the darkest that yeah, was the yeah. darkest in, in a lot of a ways kid. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah there was no lights walking around was a thing to do you'd sneak out <clears throat> me and my cousin blue would sneak out and we would just walk the fucking roads mm-hmm. we'd walk down to snice school i don't know why because because it was somewhere to go it was mm-hmm. somewhere to walk then we would walk back. And there's no lights to like see you or yeah. whatever. Like we yeah. had 37 and freaking Western door was always there. It was just that small little store at the time. Mm-hmm. But it was still lit right up and it lit up the whole road. And yeah. then Gunyaks, Gunyakahaga was across oh, the yeah. road. So that, you know, that used to, it was, yeah, we're like the freaking Hollywood strip up there. <laughs> Never hide nothing. Well, you got that, you got that bright fucking light from outer space there now. Oh God, that oh, thing, yeah. I, I, you know, hypothetically speaking, if someone wants to shoot that out, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of, a lot of the people around there would be very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> that light is so bright. It is. It is. Hypothetically. So when it gets speaking, like like foggy all the time. foggy. I'm, yeah. Like where I used to work, right? I'll yeah. leave I'll call and I could see it. Yeah. You like, see the, the beam? Like, God damn, yeah. twin leaves burning right. again. Because yeah. it'd be like orange. Yeah. Like just an the orange big glow. shooting beam. And like, just... yeah. Like, holy shit, twin leaves on fire. But Coming back from the like, Adirondacks, oh, we can shit, see it. We're like, that's just that stupid sign. Yeah. Yeah, if you come over to Cornwall Bridge. <laughs> It just—it looks like a—it looks like an alien spaceship's landed. It's just fucking flashing. It's so stupid. I like mean, the casino looks a lot closer than I thought it was right there. <laughs> it's brighter than the casino. Yeah. Fucking beacon. <laughs> What's it called? The fucking drop box on <coughs> Call of Duty or Modern Warfare? <laughs> I forget what that's called, but goddamn. Yeah. So if somebody was to ever go by and hypothetically shoot it out, you know. <laughs> If something happened, I'm not saying, but if it had it, yeah. if it fell down some stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it chat. just so happened to fall down miss? the hill there. Sugar Bear trying to video chat us. Oh, is he? Hey, if you can't show up, man. <laughs> he in a poor voice. <laughs> well, I'm going to yeah. say. Uh, <laughs> We're going to hold our phones up to the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> Let it ring. Wonder who it could be. <laughs> we just wonder. We'll make fun of him. It'll be something horrendous. Yeah, it'd be like something. I don't even somewhere. know who would call me. Like help. the only person. But like, why would you video chat somebody if you're dying? <laughs> right because you? like f- videoing everything is the cool thing now you know like my grandma's on her deathbed yeah. you know? I mean it's <laughs> like for funerals though uh-huh. like, you get a selfie with the body in the coffin but, that's like, weird the yeah. people are on the road they're like oh my god this car accident just happened look at this person's like cut in half oh my god somebody <laughs> else called 911 holy fuck <laughs> they're looking at their makeup <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you 
Who's I got would, a phone? Call 911 as you're on like, it. God damn, I've never seen a motherfucker just decapitated. That looks amazing. <laughs> Go get in your room now. Please, <laughs> that resident. Next time somebody's just breastfeeding a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can find somebody. I'm down. I'm looking. Just somebody, somebody in the back. Just some woman in the back just holding a baby. Just yeah. holding a baby. Just, we don't won't even acknowledge her. Cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll be out five minutes. Yeah. yeah. See, little bosses. Can't That's tell me right. your kids don't do that to you too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I put mine in front of the Xbox and he's just gone for hours. Mm-hmm. I wish mine was done. Yeah. No. Wait. No. 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 That's bad. I thought about the Xbox, but it's not working. I got a black screen of death going right now. I don't mm. know what it's from. It just started last night. Red ring of death. No, it's not a red ring. It's mm-hmm. black. It just turns on. It's all That's black. That's a thing too. Yeah, I guess. So. I have to say, in like my entire time of owning every PlayStation, besides the five, um, I've never had any problems with like a red ring of death or anything, guys. Yeah. No, nope. it's always like my freaking PlayStations lasted till dinosaur age, and like years after mm-hmm. the next model comes out. <laughs> mm-hmm. PlayStation Two is the one I had issues with. Yeah. Oh man. And like, but it was cool back then because you could just send it back in, and if they can't fix it, they used to just send you a fucking whole brand. Yeah, new system. that was great. That's that how it cool. should be. Yeah. And it was cool. I'm trying to get a Switch fix right now, and mm-hmm. they want me to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like Nintendo, I'm like, you cheap motherfuckers. What's your Switch doing? Um, I just got it fixed. I paid a guy two hundred. Somebody, some kid. I don't know how much they name spilled soda all over it. <laughs> so I found a guy in Cornwall to fix electronics. Oh, yeah. Two hundred. <laughs> Canadian. Damn. They got the screen turned back on. Yeah. I bring it home and it's not reading any of the cartridges. So. Oh, shit. So I, it has a website. I follow the website and they're like, they want you to put in your billing information first. I'm like, <laughs> 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 nice try, Nintendo. It's not going to happen. By the time you're done fixing it, I could have bought another Switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could have just bought a whole fucking brand new Switch with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PlayStation still does that too. PlayStation will still send you a brand new oh, PlayStation. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Um, my son's, what is it, his PS4 fried last year. So we were like hesitating on getting it fixed and then mm-hmm. just call the PlayStation, game the serial numbers and stuff to like send it mm-hmm. in. And, you know, we'll see what we can do. And if not, we'll send you a new system. So they sent back the old system, but you know, yeah. <laughs> if it, if it wasn't yeah. fixable, they, they would send back a new one. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Half that I'll PlayStation. I think that would suck is your date. for our memberships. Yeah. All your, all, all your game data is gone. Mm. Yes. That was kind of a thing. No, it stayed on our accounts. I oh, logged my it? account in. Yep. And Very it was cool. all of our games still. Ooh. Right. So Very bonus. Cool. PlayStation and my one. <laughs> this podcast brought extra- to you by Sony. <laughs> Sony <laughs> PlayStation. And Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and Nintendo Switch. We'll talk Switch to- uh, <laughs> talking shit about the Switch. <laughs> I like my Switch. The fucking controllers are all fucked up. I don't know what's wrong. Right. I sent them in once. Apparently they fixed them and they're still doing the <clears> thing. They drift <throat> and you got to kind of take it off weird. I just need to get a remote for it, but still. That sucks. It sucks. Like- Again, PlayStation, like the toggles and stuff, yeah. they get all kind of funky every now and then, but, you know, they fix. Oh, oh, is that oh, Mr. There Sunday? Is. Hello, good sir. What's up? Oh, oh, put him on speakerphone. Yeah. All right, good. Can, can you turn the camera so I can see everybody? Hello, good sir. <laughs> Hello. 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 We already said your name. Yeah. Stop dialing my phone, too. Yeah. yeah. Servants of the law. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Wilbur is on now. Are you on the toilet while you're doing this? It says right here. Uh-huh. Paragraph 23, uh, perforated in shit-stained <laughs> section Are you shitting right now? Yes, I am in the bathroom. Prove it. No, no, we don't need to prove it. No, prove it. are we gonna? No, you guys are getting all sorts of. Yep, yeah, you know. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you a hundred and twelve percent just by showing your roll of toilet paper contracts. You all right? You good? I'm good. Oh, I hear we thought we were, you were laying in a ditch, dead somewhere. Yeah, we're all worried about you. Well, that's what'll happen if I don't show up and say my name. So put me up to the mic. All right, you're go. You're golden. Okay. 
This is World Bear Sunday, and we're the motherfucking Aboriginal outlaws. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? No, I think I earned my check. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for that. He's so warm and enlightening. <laughs> little, little, uh, it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> little does he know we pay by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> We're the Aboriginal Outlaws on Will Bear Sunday. I'm Josh Sargent. Oh, I'm Chantel. (laughs) (laughs) We have an effects board. (laughs) Make sure you tune in to AboriginalOutlaws.com. Find us on uh, YouTube. Spotify, share us, Amazon Music. Uh, Do subscribe to our our, our YouTube, YouTube, please. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, please. Mm -hmm. Please. We want to blow up. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's just a thing on the back burn, just, yeah. just hit the subscribe. Yeah. Go you, through and just subscribe to a few things, you know. You don't even have to watch us. You yeah. Just subscribe. Or just show up at one of our places of business and we'll just hit the subscribe button for you. Yeah. 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 Don't you guys show up at do my that? place. I don't even have to do that myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the hell? I work with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you subscribed? I am. Okay. I am subscribed. Just yes. You know, since. Make sure. Yeah. I am dedicated. Okay. So, so every time. Every time someone says they like it, probably like, do you subscribe <laughs> in your face and everything. Like, Skip right in the face. When's the last time you subscribed? I don't know. I thought it was only one time you needed to, but I'll, I'll check <laughs> it out. Subscribe okay. every time you watch. Goddamn it. <laughs> Resubscribe. Bumper uh, numbers up. <laughs> all right. I'll take you away. Goodbye. Okay,